Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many different surprising moments in this film by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one great thing about this film is that we do know that J.J. Abrams is going to be using this movie as a way to evolve the characters of Rey and Kylo Ren in very unique ways, and unexpected ways as well to the audience once fans go ahead and see this film come December of 2019 this year. Now, what's really intriguing to me is about the character of Rey and exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to use her in this film. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, a description of both Rey and Kylo Ren fighting in a lightsaber duel, where it's described that they appear to be on the First Order battlefield. It said that this is the moment in which Kylo is delivering a certain truth to Rey that causes her to shift to the dark side in a fit of rage, in a similar fashion to what happened with Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi. The next describes Rey expressing her anger toward Kylo Ren, where she is said to focus on a large antenna behind Kylo, and uses a dark side ability called Force Crush, where she is able to crush the base of the tall structure and attempts to collapse it on top of Kylo Ren. It said that this power was last seen in the films such as used by Count Dooku in Episode 2, and even Darth Vader in Episode 3. It said that as the antenna begins to fall without Kylo realizing, he is barely able to escape causing him to fall down a landslide before eventually making his way back up to face Rey. It said that this scene ties in when Anakin's Force Ghost voice guides Rey away from her anger while wielding the family lightsaber hilt. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this because we do know that there is a sense of that, you know, anger within Rey that's stored in there. And that there is a side to the dark side within the character of Rey. We saw a great example of this in The Force Awakens when she was battling Kylo Ren. You know, we saw her fit of rage when Kylo Ren was pretty much, you know, trying to manipulate her and seduce her to the dark side. Where even in the novelization, it's described that she hears a voice that says, Kill him. And she attempts to kill him, and that eventually leads to another sequence. So, I digress. This particular sequence in Episode 9 is very similar to what we got in The Force Awakens, except it's like that moment times two, where she now uses on a full-on new Force ability that we haven't seen in the sequel trilogy, I must add, but we have seen it in the prequels. It's an ability called Force Crush. Now, she focuses on this antenna, which, by the way, guys, in case you guys did not know, the First Order Headquarters is described to have a very large antenna for communication purposes, obviously. So she focuses on the base of the antenna using the Force Crush technique and literally is able to collapse the antenna and attempts to collapse it onto Kylo Ren, where it just barely misses him where he falls down a landslide, due, of course, to the hit by the antenna hitting the ground. Now, this ability called Force Crush, guys, I think that the greatest example of all of this is what we saw uh, in, at the very end of Episode 3 when Darth Vader uses it after learning that Padme died. You guys may be aware that he was crushing all the droids around him, crushing all the medical droids, and all the different, you know, mechanical pieces in that actual room. That's a little example, and the same thing goes for Count Dooku, when he pretty much crushed that steel column and, you know, pretty much collapsed onto Obi-Wan Kenobi's leg. So the thing here about this is that when we think about Star Wars Episode Nine, we do know that J.J. Abrams wants to introduce all these different ideas and powers that are really going to expand the Star Wars universe. Is this a new power per se? Not really. We've seen this in the prequels, but is it new? For a light side user to actually use this on film in the sequel trilogy, absolutely. So that's one thing that I think a lot of fans are really going to enjoy, is seeing that dark side of Rey and how she's going to really embrace that for a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two tops against Kylo Ren in order to really gain the upper hand here and to get some leverage throughout the lightsaber duel. So, the other piece that I do want to go over, though, is how this Force Crush technique, by the way, guys, in case you guys did not know, uh, during the times of the Jedi Order, it was considered a forbidden Force power. And that's a very interesting angle to Star Wars as a whole. And it really makes one wonder, you know, the new Order that Rey is going to create at the very end of this movie, since, that where, that's, since that's where, you know, the movie is going, 
it really makes one wonder what kind of powers are going to be considered dark side or light side oriented with the new Jedi Order that is going to be built at the very end of episode 9. So the, uh, the other piece that I do want to go over is the lightsaber duel. One of the biggest and newest force powers that we are getting in this movie is of course the flash fight, which is a mixture of force bonds, flashbacks, and a regular lightsaber duel that is also going to be a mixture of both the dark and the light side of the force. And we saw this as a great example on the cover of the Rise of Skywalker art book. Very interesting angle to Star Wars, I must add. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Again.